Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I've got the boatless angler himself, Antonio, with us today and we are boatless. Definitely boatless. <laughs> it's uh, springtime and you know what folks, with springtime comes great opportunities for the boatless angler. And today we're going to be having some fun. We're going to be looking for one of North America's favorite pastime, the bullhead catfish. And the rig, the beauty of catching bullheads is simple, simple fishing. And as you can see, Antonio is already fishing, <laughs> as usual. He's always got his line in right away. But we're running a simple rig. I've got a two T-turn rig here that I'm running. And uh, basically I've got one T-turn to a hook above my sinker. And then I have another T-turn tied on and a line going about a foot uh, below my sinker. So it's a simple two T-turn rig. We've got some, uh, we've got some worms that we uh, were able to catch uh, yesterday, some leaf worms, very small ones. And uh, I've got them baited up on my hook. And uh, basically we're going to enjoy the sunshine. The somewhat warm weather that's coming in. The warmer weather, it's actually uh, a little bit nice today and see if we can get into some nice bullhead catfish, so stay tuned, folks. Oh, I had another bite. He's back on? Mine's still on here. Yeah, mine has stopped right now. It's not, it hasn't come back. Boy, it's a real slow Got bite. Em. Got him? Yeah. Real tentative bite, isn't it? They're really, really... Really inviting. Slow. Good one? That's a bullhead. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Small one. That is a small one. <laughs> nice color though. Yeah. Hey, it's a start. Another bite, eh, Antonio? Yeah, I was about to set the hook soon. Yep. You set the hook. Another <laughs> bullhead. Bullhead. You got the hot spot, Antonio. It's working. Oh, I got a double header. Look at that. <laughs> the two T turn rig. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Wow. Small. They are small. It's they are small. Fun. Hey, a double header is a double header. It is. Long shank hooks are good to get the hook out. Yeah, that's the one thing I really like about when you're fishing for bullhead, folks. The, you know, I've so you've heard me say this before, but those long shank hooks. The longer the shank, the better, because it just makes it that much easier for getting the hook out of the fish's mouth. Wow, that's a good bite. Oh, there oh, we go. He <laughs> jumped. <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was a real aggressive bite. He took my line. He took my bait and he just he just started running with it. And with this, I've got this uh, one piece light rod that I'm using. Look at him taking drag here. It's an old fishing rod that actually a friend of mine gave me that he got out of his garage that his father hung on to for years. It's so old. Oh, this is a nice bullhead. That the name is all worn off. I don't even know what, what brand this is. There's a not a bad catfish. There we go. Right hooked in the side of the mouth. That's a nice size one, Antonio. It's about my double header put together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. A uh, nice yellow color to him. Nice bullhead coming out of that cold water. I'm gonna get him right back in. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, you're releasing the catfish. They're good eating. They are very good eating, in fact, and uh, we like to catch and release. We also like to catch and keep. But one of the best ways I like to cook catfish is blackened. And you can blacken any fish you want, but catfish is really nice blackened. In fact, we've got a blackening video um, uh, and on our channel, and I'll put a link in the description for you if you want to check it out. Next time you get some catfish, try and blacken. They're really good. Okay, I've got, you know, I put a little bit of that dew worm on, Antonio. And? Yeah, I put some, um, I also had one night crawler. And if you're going to use night crawler, you don't need to use the whole night crawler when it comes to bullhead. All I did was put on about a quarter of the night crawler. I put them on and uh, it seemed to do the job. That means there's another two, three quarters left. <laughs> I could have had a little more bait onto my hooks. Tony, oh, bite, 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 bite. Oh, I'm caught on the tree. I'm caught on the tree. Oh, no. 
Oh no, I'm caught in a tree, Antonio. I think I need some help. All right. <laughs> One of the pleasures of being a bull. Oh, it just came off. It just came off. Oh. Oh, and I lost my. I lost my fish, and I lost my. Oh well. He broke you off. He uh. You yes. How do you like that? Well, I'll be. <laughs> the joys of the boatless angler. Oh well. I'll rig up another hook. I'm back rigged up, Antonio, on my first cast in. There's a hit! <laughs> I keep my line out of the trees this time. <laughs> oh, that was great. I think it's just a small fish, too. Oh, wow. Little bullhead. Right on the hook that was re-rigged. Look at that. That's the thing. When you're fishing with really, really light line, it is good to check your line every so often because if there's even one little nick in the line, even a small fish will break it off, and that's what happened to me with my with my lower line. So, but you know what? He barely touched that worm. I'm gonna cast right back out there again. There's another hit. Stop. Yeah, oh yeah. That's good. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There's another hookup. Oh, this is a riot, folks. Small fish, but big on fun with light gear like this. Okay. That's great. And, and we're just getting started here. We got the whole day ahead of us yet. I think I might have crossed your line. Oh, okay. <laughs> it feels like a decent fish. And this old boy, it's an old rod and reel, and I think this reel has really seen its age. <laughs> as has the rod. The rod's working out great, though. Here we go. Okay. Not a bad size bullhead right there. And I will lip lock him. Look at the color on that. That's a beautiful color on that bullhead right there. Nice and yellow. Okay, get it. Oh, that's why I like those long shanked hooks right there. Beautiful. The springtime bite, folks. If you get an opportunity, it's a lot of fun. We're going to continue fishing out here, but you know what? A simple rig, a simple T-turn rig, a handful of worms, go to your local creek or local pond and have some fun with some catfish. Whether you're young or old, you can't go wrong. It's a lot of fun. And on light, and on light gear, it's even that much more fun. <laughs> we can get him to swim back out. We're doing fine. There he goes. We're gonna keep going at it. We're gonna have a great day out here. The catfish bite is on. It's early spring and uh, they're aggressive. So we're gonna keep having some fun. I hope wherever you are that you get an opportunity to get out and have some fun with some bullheads as well. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. And as always folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. The uh, smoke alarm. Now this cast iron pan is so hot, it's actually lifting those fillets up off of the uh, off the surface so there's no worries about sticking